Hello everyone. So today I'm going to try and solve three challenging mathematical riddles. And let's start with the first one. The first one I've called it the Can You Recognize the Pattern Riddle. So most of you would think that this riddle is that like you have a sequence of numbers and you have to guess the next one, but no, this one, this time it's different. So uh, in this riddle, you're giving three equations and they're like they're equal parts. So we ha you you have five plus three plus two gives you this number. Nine plus two plus four gives you this number. Eight plus six plus three gives you this number. And you, then you have seven plus two plus five, and you have to guess the solution. So first of all, when you see like you're having the five plus three plus two giving you six digit number, then you should know that this like the the solution is not in the whole number, but you better get better divide it. So because if the solution is in the whole number, this is probably going to be like the square of this one times the square of this one times the square of this one and this and then you square the whole number which is like very hard so uh, let's try first to divide this six digit number into like two digits each so uh, immediately you can recognize that 15 is the product of uh, 5 and 3 5 times 3 give you 15 so the best thing is that you check for all three equations before you continue so we said that 5 times 3 equals 15, which means the first two numbers, uh, we multiply them together, we get the first two digits. Let's check the second one. 9 times 2 is 18. 8 times 6 is 48. So you directly say that 7 times 2 equals 14. 1 and 4. So we have solved the first two digits. Uh, then you can recognize that 10 is the product of the first and the last number. 5 times 10 is, times 2 is 10. 9 times 4 is 36. 8 times 3 is 24 indeed. So you directly say that 7 times 5 is 35. So I guess we've guessed like 4 digits. The last 2 di digits. So 22. Uh, you can think like uh, there is no way any any product will give you uh, of these three digits will give you 22 so you try something else like you can say that 22 is 2 times 11 so maybe 2 times the submission of this one but no the submission is 10 not 11 so you try something else uh, let's say Let's play with this part. Maybe it's in this part. So 15 plus 10 gives you what? 25. How can you get a 25 using any of these numbers? It's 20. Uh, how can you get 22 out of 25 using the, one of these three numbers? It's easily 25 minus 3 gives you 22. So what we did basically is 15 plus 10 minus the middle number which is 3 gives you 22 let's check with the second one so we have 36 and 18 you can use the calculator gives you 54 minus 2 gives you 52 then it's right for the first one for the second one let's check the last one so it's 24 plus 4 48 minus 6 gives you exactly 66 then that's right then you go straight directly to this one it will be 14 plus 35 minus 2 gives you 47 so the solution for this one 7 plus 2 plus 5 equals 143547 this is the first riddle uh, the second one I called it the fractions riddle. This one says asks for the product of one over two of two over three of three over four of four over five of five over six of six over seven of seven over eight of eight over nine of nine over ten of a thousand. 
So most of you will like start by doing 1 over 2 times 2 over 3 so you cancel these two it's 1 over 3 and then 1 over 3 times 3 over 4 cancel 3 and 3 it will be 1 over 4 and you keep going like that but there is a much easier solution is that you do it backwards so you start from the thousand 9 over 10 of the thousand it's easily 900 and then 8 over 9 of the 900 it's easily 800 7 over 8 700 600 500 400 300 200 half of 200 is 100 so this one is straightforward will be 100 and I guess if you keep moving this way it will be 1 over uh, 10 of the 1000 which will give you 100 also but you have to be smart and fast. So you always try to use the fastest ways. The last riddle for today is the infinite bar. I call it the infinite bar. It says infin infinity number of men entering a bar. So the first one enters, then the second one, then the third one, and so on. The first one orders one cup. The second orders a half a cup. The third orders 1 over 4, the next one 1 over 8, and the next one will be 1 over 16, 1 over 32, 1 over 64, 1 over 128. So what is the uh, what should the barman do? Uh, he has a lot of choices. Maybe he's not smart, so he'll quit his job because he find the infin infinity. He can't deal with that, or he'd like his job and he'll think that he's going to be a millionaire because. Uh, they are going to order infinity, infinity many, infinitely many cups. Uh, but if he's smart enough, he would only serve two cups, and that's because adding one plus a half plus one over four plus one over eight up to infinity, uh, up to one over infinity. No, yeah, up to the 1 over infinity gives you only 2. This is the 1, and the submission of 1 over 2 up to infinity gives you only 1. And this is a very famous mathematical phenomenon. And uh, maybe if you like this video and subscribe to my channel, maybe in the future I'm going to explain to you how does this one work. So, as always, thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe, and like this video, and if you have any question, write it down in the comment section, and probably I'll try to solve it in the next videos. Thanks for watching.